Alright, welcome back and let's draw another uh, Star Trek character, this time Lieutenant Sulu. And this one's got a slightly more interesting lighting uh, than the other one that Dax that did earlier. Um, so a little bit of side lighting here, a little bit of rim lighting, so this one could be kind of interesting. And it's a male, so it's a little bit easier to draw, I think, than the female. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and start this. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to draw about this wide. So I'm just kind of roughly uh, seeing it to make sure that everything fits in camera. So let's go ahead and start out with the eyes. And again, I'm using a 2B again. Okay, so this is going to be the upper eyelid. Eyeball coming down. Eyes are not as deep, obviously, it's Asian. A little harder to see because this reference is a little bit smaller. Maybe next time I'll try to get a uh, larger image. So I'm just going to start shading it. Right here, there's a little bulge right here. Okay, so that's one eye, and let's go ahead and draw in. I'm gonna add in some of the, the eyebrow here. So I'm measuring going up. See how far it goes. It's right around here. The spacing for this is like the width, of the, the height of the eye, maybe slightly higher. So probably something like that. This angle here. Yeah, my pencil is really sharp right now. So less detail on the eye here, since it's, um, the socket's a little bit more shallow. Let's try to refine this slightly. Okay, so let's keep going. Come across for the other eye. One eye spacing and then that looks about right. Oh, I don't have to slant it up again. Let's keep going. So the width of the eye, you know, whatever you draw in here, just try to keep a mental note so that you can come back up here over on this side. So that's kind of the same width. Highlight here. Pupil. I think there's another highlight on the bottom, but okay, let's just try that. Highlight. So the white right here is slightly darker, so we're going to shade that in. That'll help with the roundness of the eyeball. It's coming up here. The eyebrow. Right here, this part is very important. Um, it's always very tricky right here. It's actually a very complicated shape right there. And the eyebrow, let's see. It's over here. Now this part's cool. It's got that little rim lighting, which is always interesting to draw and shade. So I can just kind of mark that in. And then for the eyebrow. Turning my pencil to get darker, uh, sharper edge. Because I really want to punch that in right here. So it's like right here, it needs to be slightly darker. So again, just forget about what it, what it is that you're seeing and just try to shade it 
whatever it is that you're you're seeing. Right here is a slight bulge. Here as well, so this part's slightly darker. Cross hatching. Don't have to actually just get the shade in. We can always smooth it out later. Okay, so those are the eyes, and hopefully, hopefully, it kind of looks like him. So, all right, so let's come down to the nose. All right, so straight down here. The nostril is gonna be right around here. The wings of the nose, and if I kind of go in an angle right here, so that's about right, I think. Okay, so right around here, here's the wings of the nose, slightly darker. And then on this side here, looks like it's over here. It's a little bit smaller. Here's the shape, and here's the nostril. And then this shape here, so all this is in shadow, in the shade. Comes up here. Underneath, tucks in. Let's make that a little bit darker. Very um, soft features right here. You know, the Asian nose. There's a Terminator. A little bit of shading up here as well. Very slight shading right here. There is a ridge. And we're back here. So this part, all this part should be a little bit darker. Okay. okay, so let's come down to the lip. It's here. I'm trying to keep the white of the paper because there is a little, right on top of the lip right here, this is important to have this little white spacing right here. Try to keep that. And then the corner of the lip coming down, by right around here somewhere. Then this side, coming down here. Probably somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm a little tentative. Uh, usually I'll go a little bit quicker. Usually with the <laughs> once the camera is on, I I do want to make a you know more, I guess a decent drawing. So in a way, I kind of slow down slightly. Whereas if I were just kind of you know come in here and just start sketching for fun, I'll I won't be as as careful usually because I just kind of want to sketch. Okay, and then a lower lip. So this part is pretty white, but there is some shading here because it is pinkish, right, compared to the skin. Underneath here, always dark, the shadow from the, the uh, lower lip. Here's the shadow right here. So this is all in the shade. Let's come up here. Here's the corner of the lip. And this part right here, so again, a little bit of white right here, so you might want to keep that just slightly. And then the shadow. Oops, I try to keep some of this white here. So let's shade this in. It's a little bit whiter here. Okay, how does that look? Yeah, it looks like it's skewed again. See this? 
always happens. Always skews this way, right? I think. Okay, let's let's add in some of the the facial. I mean the uh, surrounding elements. So let's see if we're off or not. So let's come back up here. So here's his hair. Really cool looking hair right here. So right here on top. So we know it's right here. Come across. Highlight here. We're gonna go up. Somewhere around here. So now we know we have that. It's a little swipe right here. So let's add a little bit of this. Here is the highlight here. So in order to shade these big uh, swatches, you know, you can go uh, large lines like this, or you can just make smaller little chunks of it. That works fine too. Sometimes these little uh, lines right here, that's, it's pretty artistic. I really like doing that. I like seeing other people do it as well. It's just like really shows the stroke. Okay, so it's gonna come down here. So let's add in his face, his cheekbone. Let's see, coming down here, how far is this? Probably around here. Okay, so from here, let's add in the cheekbone. So very, not much lighting right here. So I come down, let's see, the width of this space right here, I'm trying to visualize it. It's probably okay. Again, I'm very tentative right now. <laughs> Especially trying to get a lightness of someone, you know. Sometimes you do have to slow down. Okay, so the chin right here. So I'm just looking at this line. I know the chin comes down here, but I'm just looking at this line because that's the shadow. And again, I'm just trying to see the elements and draw it as it is. Sometimes you just have to ignore what you think you're seeing. Okay, so let's come down this way and we'll connect to that. This is hair coming down here and then Sideburn comes all the way down here. And then this side here, I'm gonna use this line right here. There's a line right here for the, the shadow and I'll use that as reference. So by drawing that, I realize this is too close to the face. So that's why I always like it when there's more things going on. You know, it, it will just give you more reference points. So. Okay, so let's skip this little bit of shading here. This part's darker, actually, I kind of messed this part up here. Comes down here. Okay, and then the cheekbones. Hair. And then this is all in the shade. So you see I'm just doing patches and it still looks okay. Come down here. And then on the bottom right here is darker. Just gonna really push that in. Yeah, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit. Kind of reverting back to how I usually sketch. Might or might not be a good thing. Just hoping to draw in, you know, one section at a time. Okay, so let's see. Let's focus. Well, let's come back to the face. I think there, I could probably do another pass on this before I, you know, add in more of the hair stuff.
So this would be the second pass. This needs to be darker. Nostrils needs to be corrected. Shadow here, there's the cheekbones, needs to be a lot darker here. So there's a little bit of rim lighting right on the back here, so I'll try to keep that as well. I guess I should draw in some of these lines first. Okay, so now that everything is in, um, I'm just kind of going in and you know, sh start shading overall. I was hoping to sketch the other way, but it just happens to be. Because I want it, I guess in a way, I want it to be more accurate. So that's usually what happens. You know, you end up drawing more of these lines, more uh, reference lines. Okay, so let's come back in here. So this part's darker. So with this 2B, you really have to push in hard just to get that edge. But it is kind of nice, you know, it allows you to sketch in, you know, a little, little bit more detail, you know, sharper pencil. So that's the good part about using a 2B. So darker here. So there's a line here that comes down, you know, to cheekbones. Kind of important to have that. Just like back here. Okay, so I think I kind of do look like him, right? So, all right, so let's add in some of the hair because it's kind of a cool feature and it's nice and dark, his hair. So hopefully that will help frame everything up here. Okay, so his hair, let's see, comes up here. Maybe a little bit too high, maybe down here. Let's go all the way around first. So this comes up here. I totally forgot about his ear, which is kind of strange. Right, let's, let's sketch that in real quick. Comes down here. I'm looking at this. Come across. It's right around the lip area. So we know it's going to be down here. Okay, so let's go over here. So we come across. Here's the bottom of the lip. I mean the bottom of the ear, so it's right around here. Let me fix this. Okay, and then the top of the ear, so it's right around here. So, okay, so my initial sketch was kind of close. And let's see, let's, let's just keep this one shape because there's really no, everything's in the shade right here. And then here's those loops inside. The ear is very complicated. So just tackle the bigger area first. Just this one loop. Okay, so let's come up here, his hair. Down here. So right here is really dark. Okay, so this needs to come out.
So this part is really dark right here. And then as we come up here, so here's the highlight for the hair. So we'll try to keep that. And then everything else on the bottom is slightly darker. And there's a little bit of highlight here too. And then once we have this, we can add in the details right here. Here's one line coming down, strand, strand. And then this part is darker here. Yeah, really dark. Really pushing in with my pencil here, so turning it just to get a slightly sharper edge. Okay. Here, let's come back here. Darker. This part here needs to be darker. So now that I've drawn this, the eyes and some of the features looks a little bit too light, right? See, there's a highlight here, so that means I need to keep this line. Just a little bit of shading so I can get some of that the highlight there. Hair, right here, dark. Right here is pretty dark. Let's see. All right, let's draw in the hairline's a little bit off right here. This dust needs to go a little bit higher. Yeah, it's got very distinct hair, so it's like that's actually part of his feature. Okay, so right here, uh, highlights right here. So this part's all dark, so I'm just gonna let's go ahead and put that in. And then darker here, a little bit of uh, shine right here. As we come down, this part is pretty dark and there's another shine right here. Now we're looking at the smaller details. And then here. There's a lot of little lighting here as well. Another highlight right here. And then for the strands, we can add in some of these lines. That's fine. Well, the hair has really taken a chunk off the pencil. I might need to sharpen it again. So right on the edge is a little bit darker. Let's fade this out slightly. Okay, so this is dark. This is too light right here. All right, so now that I have, let's see, pretty much, you know, everything shaded in, and now I was, I'm seeing some errors and things like that. And I'll try to come in here and just try to adjust for little things and maybe clean up certain areas, like on the nose right here. This needs to be darker. I should add in some of the 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 neck right here but in terms of lightness i think yeah, i really like this this looks okay to me uh i mean I'll, I'll see it again with a fresh eye later and see if it does <laughs> actually still looks good still looks good that's what happens sometimes it's like you've been staring at it for so long you don't see uh you don't see the errors and that's really very normal that's why you always want to see it with a fresh eye so, so let's add in his neck. He's got a really pretty thick neck. So right here, there's the shadow right here. Here's the terminator for the Adam's apple. So let's let's just keep this one shade here. Rim lighting on the side. Not white, but 
That's why I had in a little shade right there. So adding the Adam's apple. A little bit of shading here so we get this bump. And down here as well. Okay, so it's pretty other than that, it's pretty white. So it's sharper right here, um, and then it, it fans out here. So that's why I went like this. And that will give you this nice uh, variation in this, in this shape right here. Okay, and then the, I guess this part's a no-brainer. So go this way. So I'll just go along with the direction of the, you know, what it is I'm shading. Or I can go this way too. It really doesn't matter. Just more of an artistic element at this point. Okay. All right, so I think uh, this one I actually like. Um, it actually looks like Sulu. Um, the features are there. Uh, the hair is nice. I really like the way how the hair pops. And, you know, my pencil is pretty dull now, which is pretty good. So this is about, what, like half an hour sketching, which is not too bad. Uh, let's see. All right, so I think that's about it for this video. I'll continue with this um, because I think the eyes and stuff needs a little bit more detail. I'll sharpen up my pencil again so I can go in there and really hit it. You know, put my uh, put my head over the, over the paper so I can see a little bit better, and you know, just maybe fix some of the little areas here and there. But overall, yeah, I, I really like this one. It looks like him, which is cool. All right, so that's it for this video, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.